Well, it's been about two and a half weeks since that Hard Rock Hotel collapsed, but since those damaged cranes were taken down, we haven't seen a lot going on at this site. Well, tonight we are learning four different engineering firms are drawing up plans to demolish what's left of the Hard Rock Hotel right there at the corner of Rampart and Canal. And the city and those developers are expected to choose the best path forward by the end of this week. And in the meantime, we're learning some downtown businesses won't be able to reopen until that structure comes down. Paul Murphy joins us with the latest. Paul. Karen, Sharice, we still don't have an accurate timetable as to when the remnants of two construction cranes will finally come down. One of them continues to hang over Canal Street tonight or when the bodies of two construction workers can safely be removed from the building. City officials stress this is a marathon and they fear the Hard Rock site could collapse again at any time. And that's why some businesses near the site remain closed indefinitely. A handful of businesses along the Canal Street corridor remained closed 17 days after the Hard Rock construction site collapsed. Jennifer Weishaupt says New Orleans officials told her she won't be able to reopen the Ruby Slipper restaurant until the partially constructed building is demolished. Monday a week ago, I would have told you I was going to open within a week. I'm now um, extremely concerned for the timeline that you know, this is going to take. Weishaupt admits not knowing how long her business will be closed is frustrating, especially for her 50 employees. I do fear that it'll be the worst possible outcome. It'll be a very long outage. Homeland Security Director Colin Arnold said the city feels for impacted businesses like Ruby Slipper. We went in last night with Ruby Slipper and, uh, Slipper and cleaned out their walk-ins, uh, got their trash out, essentially trying to mitigate to the greatest extent possible that we can uh, what they're going through right now. So far, Ruby Slipper is not part of any lawsuit, but some businesses and workers impacted by the collapse are seeking damages from the main players in the ill-fated construction project. Their attorneys are expected in court on Wednesday to ask a judge to require hotel developers to preserve all documents dating back to 2012, as well as samples of all of the building materials. Citadel Builders, the main construction company on the job, filed a motion opposing such an order. Everybody's hearing different theories of what happened there. It puzzles us even more to, to, as to why they're opposing us to, to do something so standard as to keep their, keep their plans, keep their text messages, keep their emails. The Sanger across Rampart Street from the Hard Rock site also remains closed. The historic theater has canceled or moved all of its shows since the collapse. And tonight we are learning that the upcoming MJ Live show at the Sanger has also been canceled. We're live downtown, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.